emergency door repairs. These are the little bloopers, but people don't really see how beat up this equipment gets when we come down here and do this. So zip ties, bungee cords, duct tape, hold everything together, including our clothing. Um, but like I said, this is another example of how massive this stuff is. I mean, we don't have funding like big organizations do. Um, but we're all engineers in the process, so it's kind of good. I'm trying to zoom in on that, but his engineering skills with a zip tie and a pair of pliers. But, like I said, I know I can't stress it enough, but um, this is what it takes to get these animals out of here. So, in retrospect, if you were to spend, you know, $20, $50, $80 to get your dog or cat spayed or neutered, it saves these type of situations that are literally thousands of dollars to get going. Um, this is Matt's second trip down here. Uh, him and I are both from Texas. It's a long drive, let me tell you that. Um, Matt actually here trying to help the animals. So, you know, I know myself, I lost a boat, a truck, a, you know, my best friend, all trying to help. So guys, please push the education of spay and neutering, taking care of your animals, you know, um, I think Matt lost a contact or something. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm going to try to have as much of these videos as possible. Sorry for the picture quality and me moving around and talking the ear off. <coughs> He's borrowing the lights off my truck, so... Like I said, things we do to get this stuff done, and this is just a small, small portion of it. There's people all over California, the Carolinas, everywhere there's a natural disaster that you know, we have to do stuff like this, so I'm going to sneak up on them. So, once again, I'll be back.